Hello. Welcome to Productions MJC. My name is Mark. Today, I am done. I, okay, today we're going to talk about something, a pet peeve of mine, that is just driving me nuts. CGI lies. Okay? You know, every, every time I put out a video, I've got some joker that pops on there and says something like this. Nice try, show me a picture of the, and this is nice. He did get, you know, filthy and vile and everything else. That seems to be the only answer to being presented the truth. But later on, uh, you know, I, I'm just so done with the CGI lies. And what am I talking about? Well, they say this is CGI. This is garbage. This is a lie. This is a fabrication. Flat earthers say that all the time. Then they turn right around and they say the moon is a hologram. They say the moon is CGI. Well, let, let, let me help you understand what's going on. Okay, we have this dude, uh, Crow777, claims to have got a picture of the moon with a wave or a band going through it. You know, children, children. The Lunar Wave and the Hologram Moon's Conspiracy. Now, I, I'm not against conspiracy theories. I'm not against trying to figure things out. But when you don't understand how basic things work, you should not be allowed near a camera, near YouTube, near anything. And Crow777, obviously, uh, along with the other fabricators and con artists that are out there doing their flat earth garbage, you know, this is a camera. Let, let me help you out. This is a camera. These people are probably filming a sporting event, and they're using the long-range optics there to zoom in on it. Well, the reason they're doing this is that it, so they can obtain a clear, crisp image. And what you don't know is most of these people are, are using real film, and they're actually using non-digital cameras. Well, this Crow777, he says, uh, you know, other people have filmed it and other people, he's taught them their tricks. He's taught them how to do it. So how can I prove that there's not this magical hologram in the sky and these films they have with a band going through the moon as they f film a bug flying by or something and say it's a spaceship? This is how, this is the camera they're using. You know, from this to even a thousand dollar version. This is the camera they're using. What's real? The stuff in the background, right? What is, da da da, CGI? Right there in front of your face, that little square. Computer generated image. I mean, come on. You've got CGI sitting right in front of your face. Some, some guy, some flat earther says, this is the real Venus. It's just a glowing picture up in space. You know, as he zooms in, not with a telescope, but with a camera that is producing CGI for him to look at and record. You, you, people cannot be that absolutely mindless and ignorant of the earth, the environment, and even the tools that you're using. You need to back away from the tools if you don't even understand how they work. This is how they work. You have a screen, okay? It is full of sensors. Millions of sensors placed near, near each other, and each sensor senses a different uh, wavelength and reacts accordingly. And then the little computer inside the camera figures out how everything's supposed to be done, and, con and conveniently it creates for you a computer-generated image. This is just a, such a pet peeve of mine. I mean, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like zoomed in. Millions of these little receptors. So what happens 
when you zoom in on some spot of light. Okay, there's optical zoom and then there's digital zoom. So all of these clowns that are going in and saying, we hate you, NASA and their CGI that they do. Well, you don't even understand the own, your own CGI. You're looking at a computer generated image yourself and saying, this is the real Venus. Well, if you watch this dude's video, it flickers back and forth. Why? Because the frame refresh rate is different than the screen he's looking at as compared to the chip that's receiving the signals, receiving the light. You know, Moon Hologram and all these other fancy videos, they're playing you for fools. You're, you're, being, a, you're being suckered if you believe that they are not producing a CGI image. Look at this puppy. I mean, take a good look at this image. Okay? When you look at it, look at the bottom left-hand edge of the moon. Are there mountains that high? No. It's because that is the cutoff of these millions of little sensors. And this is an image that's been blown up and everything else. But you can see there's a little bit of false coloring where it changes from dark to light because of the processing the computer has done. It's CGI. Right there in front of your face. Boom. CGI. This is from a Flat Earth video that says the moon's a hologram, and I can tell because it's got colors in it. What an absolute maroon. What a boob. I mean, that is the biggest mistake you could ever make. To look at a CGI image on your own equipment and say, yep, I'm looking at a CGI created up in space. No, it's created in your hand. It's right in your hand. That's the thing that's creating the CGI. I mean, geez, it's just, it's unbelievable. They can't be real. But there are people that really believe it. People that get suckered by this all the time. But the reason it looks squarish, or the reason it looks like it's shaped octagonish, or uh, dodecahedron, or whatever it's you're looking at, is because the sensors are li either little squares or little rectangles or whatever. You are believing the CGI in your hand, but you're calling everything else that everybody shows you CGI. Just stop. Shut up. It is not the other person's CGI that's fooling you. It's the CGI in your own hand. You don't know the difference between these two. I used uh, in my video camera, it had optical zoom up to 6 power, and then from 6 to 20 was digital. And I knew what I was looking at through my viewfinder was always CGI. I couldn't look through the viewfinder of my, well, back in the day, they were full-size VCR video cameras. Nine pounds, lug those suckers around on your shoulder. But the video, but what you were looking at was CGI all the time. But kids nowadays don't even understand the basics of the equipment they're using. The one, the one flat earth video guy says, do these look like giant burning spheres? Eh, do they? I mean, come on. Do they look like giant burning spheres? No, they look like computer generated images. That's what they are. They're CGI. But they're not CGI on the dome. <sighs> what uh, it this is a pet peeve of mine. This irritates the crap out of me obviously because these people should not be allowed to touch electronic equipment if they don't understand how it works. But the thing is, I think they knew. I think they know exactly what they're doing. And it's people that watch their videos that are getting sucked in that don't even take the time to research it and go, uh, wait a minute, you're looking on the screen, dude. Um, you're generating your own CGI. You know, nobody, nobody stops to think. That's another pet peeve of mine, but, you know, I'm just... And look how similar the two middle ones are. Why? Because it's the same camera. It's probably in the same spot. The You know, he's focusing on the same thing. I mean, you, you're really believing flat earth CGI, but you won't believe quote-unquote globe CGI. You know, 
just really look look at the squares looks at the pixelation because it's a computer generated image I mean come on digital everything is digital that picture of that woman in a wedding dress I would have would suppose because of the veil is C G I computer generated image digital I mean you know it, it's amazing you people get sucked into this that are flat earth believers I mean come on not there they say the moon isn't even there the moon is gone and it's a picture oh it's a picture you know what's gone you know what's not there your brain come on it's a big picture that's being being shown on the on the firmament <laughs> no it's a big ball of rock you can bounce radio signals off of and you have to be aimed at it they say well it's just bouncing off the firmament no it isn't because once the moon goes out of tracking if you if you lose the moon you lose the signal but if you reacquire the moon boom signal that can only happen with a solid object now I do cheat I'm a ham radio operator and uh, I actually think so yeah I cheat because you flat earth believers you really are going to go for this clickbait of uh, Jaronism P brain uh, deep inside the rabbit hole crow 777 and, and whoever else you're really gonna you, you're looking at their CGI and you're saying I don't believe NASA's CGI it's so horrible that NASA would put that CGI out there for us to see and then you click on these other video makers CGI and you suck it in you lap it up like a cat over spilt milk and it, how do you feel how do you feel well, you know what I am so freaking done with people asking me show me a picture of the globe that isn't CGI you horrible person how much are you getting paid to do this shut up show me a picture of a star that isn't CGI from your camera you goof I mean they're you're being played for fools it's up to you to decide to change your life change your thought pattern you don't have to believe everything go out and do the experiment for yourself buy you a big fancy camera buy you a telescope and hook it up to and once you get going you will see a wave across there but you know what when you look at it with your eye you won't because the wave is created by the the difference in the intermediate frequency of the CMOS or CCD chip as compared to the screen you're looking at because you're always looking through a screen if you're looking at a viewfinder or you're looking at the big picture on the back but you know what you really need to do is just stop and think and look at the big picture look at what people are saying and then look what they're showing you they're showing you don't trust NASA CGI but 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 trust mine really would you walk down the street and somebody said you know that guy's selling fake watches but come over here and I, I got some real Rolexes for you come on c come uh, would you tell me the street you live in and I'll sell you some real ro Rolex watches oh, you know. I'll show you the real thing yeah no, they're fake the other guys are fake yeah yeah you know what never mind why don't you flat earth believers that still won't listen to reason won't accept reality who watch other people's CGI and suck it up and then turn around and tell me don't you dare show me your CGI why not you're looking at everybody else's CGI I don't do that though I tell you to go out and do the experiments yourself and these people they don't want you doing the experiments they want you to just suck in their their magic tricks that's all it is so you know what you you get what you deserve well you know okay oh, calm down okay okay calm down I have had my rant and so now
Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching. Um, you know, every time I say this, don't be fooled by their slick presentations. Because Crow 777 has been debunked quite a bit. Uh, you know, people have started to notice that some cameras do this and some don't because it's not real. It's CGI. Uh, please like and subscribe. Spread this around. You know, with some people, you just, you'll, they'll never understand it. They don't have the intelligence. They don't have the integrity. That's, that's their fault. Spread the word. Spread, the, spread this around. Uh, keep the truth flowing. And uh, I am grateful for all my viewers that have just said, stick with it, man, because you're telling the truth. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This has been Mark with Productions MJC.